Hello Cancer viewers. So I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, uh, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. Sorry, the cards are already laid out. I um, accidentally hit the stop record button when I first started reading this uh, story, so I'm just leaving it where, where I left off. So with the Pride and Stubbornness card and, and Shyness and Fear of Rejection over here, the first two cards, I feel that someone had a chance with you, but they kind of messed it up out of fear. They, they sabotaged the connection, they ran, they, they basically just chose their pride and their stubbornness and their fear of getting hurt and fear of being rejected, fear of not being understood um, over you. They basically chose head over heart and they ran from the connection. But with the end of a pattern or cycle here, we have breakthrough freedom, that's the third card. I feel that this connection is going to come back around. I do sense uh, third party energy here though, so I feel like some of you might have either just met someone new or you're about to meet someone new. Um, so you might not want this connection when it comes back around actually. You might just kind of be over it at that point. But but yeah, with, with pride, stubbornness, fear of rejection here, um, it's, it's a situation where it's like they just, they weren't willing to be vulnerable they they weren't willing to tell you how they really felt about you they kind of tried to play it cool they maybe tried to play some mind games tried to have the upper hand it's like two people that want to talk here but just aren't talking you know i feel like this person is going to come back around but you're going to have to make a judgment call like is this person really capable of changing are they really capable of giving you the love that you want, you know, because talk is cheap. Like, I see them coming in very sweetly. Like, they're going to come in saying all the right things, apologizing. You might be getting an apology, too. I think you're going to get some type of message. Uh, you, you might get an apology. You, you know, they're going to be making promises, going to, you know, be kind of beating themselves up like oh I messed everything up I did this and this like finally taking some responsibility but you're gonna have to make a judgment call because like I said talk is cheap so is it worth it is can this person really change or are they just wanting you back because they feel like they're losing you and I feel like there's a couple different groups of cancers here so it's it's I'd like to give you a more concrete answer, but honestly, I, I'm, I'm just getting that you guys are really going to have to meditate and develop your own intuition. I think, I think that you guys are being challenged to use your own intuition too and not so much rely on other people, not rely on other psychics, but just kind of rely on, kind of start developing um, your own intuition, start meditating more, start, you know, if, you, if you've been drawn to start using oracle or tarot cards, do that. Um, and listen to that inner voice. Connect with your guides. Your your guides. I'm getting the sense that your guides are really wanting to connect with you, and they feel like you're trying to go through other outlets to connect with them. Like you're trying to, you know, connect with them through other people or have other people talk to them. And your guides are saying, "Hey, we're right here. You know, all you have to do is go inward, and and you have the answers that you seek already. You know, it's all within you already." So, so your guides are really wanting you to just de develop your own intuition and just trust yourself a lot more. And of course, you know, with meditating, of course, you want to ground and protect yourself and do all the proper shielding techniques. But, but you are really being called to, to kind of stand on your own more and develop your own intuition. That was just a quick message for you guys. But, um, but anyway, I feel like there's two different groups here. And, and again, you're going to have to, this is going to come in and you're not going to expect it, I don't think. It, it sounds like an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, probably. I'm getting, because it looks like someone you've got history with, because there was this period where they just kind of took you for granted, and they just, they, you know, chose their mind over their heart. Even though they did have real feelings for you, they just weren't willing to take the risk of getting hurt, you know? And you want someone who's willing to take that risk. You want someone who knows that you're worth it. You want someone who knows what they have when they have it. Um... And, and like I said, I wish I could give you a more concrete answer, but you guys are really being guided to, um, you, you have the answer is what I'm see it was what I'm getting here, you know, is that you already know when this comes back around, you already know what to do. You already know if you should or shouldn't entertain this, I believe. 
um, and and I'm sensing that some of you should and some of you shouldn't so it's it's gonna vary but with end of a pattern or cycle breakthrough freedom here this third card I think you guys are kind of mirroring each other in that aspect where you're ending this pattern you're like you know what if you're afraid you go ahead and be afraid you go ahead and run I'm not gonna chase you you want to choose your pride you go ahead and choose your pride you want to choose a third party you go ahead and choose a third party I want someone who puts me first I want someone who chooses love over fear I want someone who's brave um, you know everyone's afraid but it's not an excuse it's like everyone's been hurt these days everyone's damaged everyone's afraid you want someone who sees that you're worth it and chooses you anyway you know it's not about not being afraid it's about being willing to push past that fear for you and you deserve that you know um, and so you're recognizing that you're recognizing with this third card here ending that pattern you, you know you're recognizing that and it's giving you freedom and I think this person is going to feel that energy shift. They're going to feel that they don't have you on lockdown like they used to. And they're going to be spying on you and stalking your social media. They're going to kind of try to wait for the right time to come in. I don't know if there's like a third party situation or maybe there's just something going on. I'm just getting something about divine timing. Like they're just kind of trying to wait for just the right moment i'm not sure what that's about maybe you know what that's about already but there's something about timing here We're just just waiting for the perfect time to come in um, in the meantime they're just going to kind of spy and kind of stalk you on social media and then i see them making this this love offer this commitment you know loyalty stability vows they're they're going to come in and make this this love offer um make promises to you you know tell you they're going to be loyal to you they're going to be stable they're going to maybe if maybe they need to go to counseling they might make promises that they're going to go to counseling or do couples counseling with you or that they're just a different person that you've changed them that they're not going to do this thing the things they did before to you you know they're they're wanting to come in with this commitment and make these promises to you but again, you need to use your discernment. You need to get to know them. You need to not ignore the red flags. You need to listen to the red flags, listen to the green flags, pull them in slowly. This is also a message to um, to not repeat old patterns. Even if this comes back around, even if you do decide to entertain this again, don't repeat old patterns because you know you're just going to get taken for granted again. It's kind of like you have to like ease them in. You have to pull them in slowly. You have to get to know them slowly. You have to you have to do things differently. Otherwise, they're just going to freak out and run again. And there needs to be a stronger friendship there. There needs to be a stronger base there than there was before. And and you want to stay in your power. You know, you see how seductive she is, how she's just kind of sitting and waiting for her person to come around like she's not chasing them. She's not over analyzing not worrying she's just kind of being seductive here just sit standing in her power and pulling them in um and that's kind of the energy you want to be in when this comes back around like keep the ball in your court you know like don't forgive them right away don't say oh everything's fine yeah let's get back together right away kind of play it cool a little bit you know act like you're kind of not sure about it act like you're you're thinking about it maybe maybe not um maybe don't don't message them back right away show them that you have a life outside of them show them that you're you're busy with work with school with whatever your hobbies whatever you're doing show them that you're busy and that you have a life outside of them um show them that it's not going to be the way it was before show them they don't have they don't have you on lockdown like they think they do or like they used to and they feel that they feel that you're breaking this pattern that you're pulling away and that's again that's going to lead to them spying and kind of starting to worry and then once they really start worrying more and more they're going to come through with this love offer is what the reading is saying but but yeah when they come through it, it could go right back to square one if you overdo it if you if you say too much do too much um if you chase them like you have in the past it's gonna they're gonna run and it's just gonna be that chase or chasey dynamic again and it's just not gonna go anywhere um it's just gonna be the same old merry-go-round cycle but but yeah you want to maybe maybe wait to message them back wait a couple hours to message them be the first one to end the messages um it's kind of sweet and seductive just playing it cool not overwhelming them just 
just taking things really slowly. And this isn't just for their sake. It's not just to stop them from running and freaking out because they feel smothered and overwhelmed by the, the commitment. And they want to chase you. You got to remember that too. They, they want to do the chasing. They don't want to be chased by you. They want to be the one to chase you. And you have to just stand in your power and let them. Don't do the work for them. Just stay in your power and let them do the work. And if they deserve you, then know that they're going to do it. And this isn't just for their sake, it's for your sake too. You want to take it slow so that you can you can observe them, so that you can get to know them on a friendship level too and make sure that this is legit. Make sure that they're not just saying whatever they need to say to pull you back in, you know, and wanting to have their cake and eat it too. Make sure that they're they're serious this time. Make sure that this time is really going to be different. You really need to to stay in your power and kind of use your intuition here and take things slowly and really get to know each other. Um, I do want to say, though, I do really, I feel like there's a third party, though. Can we show, show me the third party? Show me the third party here. Show me the third party. Okay, so that is not, that is not me. <laughs> if you heard that sound, that wasn't actually an air pressure system that I'm using right now. That air got locked in and it made that sound. That wasn't what you think it was. <laughs> oh, God. Put it away so it doesn't do that again. <laughs> All right, so we're looking into the third party here. It's not for all of you. Some of you don't have a third party, but some of you do. So we got passion, romance, willpower, strength, confidence, apology, and regret, hoping, waiting, praying, risk, reward, choosing love over fear, got isolation, loneliness, emptiness, fear of commitment. I wonder if for some of you the third party hasn't arrived yet because I'm like I'm getting third party energy but the cards aren't really saying a whole lot on it so I'm kind of wondering if like I don't know I'm just wondering what's up with that like maybe it's somebody that's in your energy field that there's not much to say about them just yet but they're coming in soon or someone that you're just kind of now getting to know hmm I feel like maybe you kind of like are missing this person, the, 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 the ex that kind of wronged you. I feel like maybe you're still kind of holding out a little bit of hope. Like you're, I mean, it's everyone's going to be different, but I think you guys are, are still, it's still hurting you to some extent. You know what I mean? But I think that you are going to have this third party coming in, but I'm like, I'm getting that Cheryl Crow song. The first cut hurts the deepest. That's kind of coming to mind right now with this reading. It's like you're going to have the passion and romance here with somebody else, but I think that you're still going to be nostalgic for this other person because it's like you weren't expecting this new person to come in, you know, and it's going to take willpower and strength and confidence to, to try for this new love because it's like you feel like you just already put so much into the other person and it's just, it's familiarity too. I don't even know if it's like love for you or if it's just like familiar and you just put so much energy into that connection that it's like you don't want to give it up now because it's like you've already you know gone through so much and done so much for this person it's like you're not sure if you really want to let it go it's like because you got that that history with them you know and I see you kind of starting to move on with this other person but it's like you have to it's almost like a fake it till you make it energy like you're going to be happy that you're this person is giving you what the other person wasn't but there's still this part of you where it's like it's new it's 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 new territory it's it's um might not be your usual type either it's you know it's not familiar like the other person was and i think this i think maybe maybe through spying or whatever whatever it might be your your ex is going to kind of see this and they're they're going to feel this energy that there's another person that's come in or that's about to come in and they're going to come through with an apology and regret, you know, and you've been waiting and hoping and praying for this to come in. You've been waiting for them to see what's right in front of them. 
But when they do, I think that you're actually going to remember like how isolated and empty and, uh, and lonely you felt with them. You know, I think you're going to actually, it's not going to hit you the way you think it's going to hit you. You're going to kind of remember their fear of commitment. You're going to kind of, you're going to be remembering that they left you alone when you needed them. They're going to, you're going to remember that when you guys should have been working through things together, they just decided to isolate and play games instead. And, you know, you're going to have this other person who's, they're both going to be choosing love over fear. You know, the new person is going to be making this effort for you. And then you're also going to have this old person that's making the effort because they feel like they're losing you. And so they're taking this risk, um, you know, in hope of a reward, making a bold gesture, choosing love over fear. And yeah, that's, that's where we're at. Um, you know, again, when this apology comes in, you're, you're, you weigh your options. Don't, don't jump into it. Cause I know you probably wanted it for a long time, but don't get too excited and smother this person. Don't overdo it. Just kind of step back when this apology comes in and really think about it. Is it worth it? Are they really capable of changing? Have they really changed or are they just pretending like they changed, they've changed because they don't want to lose you and they don't, they're jealous because there's a third party, you know? And yeah, this new person might not be familiar. Maybe it is new. Maybe you have to build something all over with them again. They might not be your ex, but but maybe new is better. You know, you got to consider it. You, you're going to have to do some soul searching. You're really going to have to take a step back and, and think about all of this when this energy comes in. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, if it resonates, please go ahead and subscribe to me. I also do paid private readings. My contact info is below.